Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 87, October 30th, the day before Halloween. I hope you're all excited to go out. It's raining lots and lots here, which means the kids will get wet tomorrow night, which is fine because it's funny. I was driving my kid off to Grandma Gramps this morning, and he goes, it's a really nice day out today, Daddy. And I'm like, yes, you were clearly born in the Northwest, kid. So, born in Seattle. Uh, yeah. Yes, born in Seattle. It's awesome. Uh, so, as always, these meetings are being recorded for those people that are unable to attend with us right here, right now. Let's go look at the agenda. A couple things to talk about. Uh, we'll do a triage. We'll talk about Wix 3101 for tomorrow. We'll talk about Wix 4. And then we'll do the usual questions and comments. So since we're running about 15 minutes late due to technical issues and other things slowing us down, let's go jump right into triage. Bob, ready? I am now ready. All right. I'm going to hit refresh real quick. Hopefully it works. Yes. All right. Run once is triggered. Any more information? No. Nope. Uh, I suggest we close this. Oh, agreed. More info or whatever we want to do and just let us out. Not that we have an answer to this bug anyway that we've been sitting on for four well, weeks more, now. More, more data might help, but, yeah, I suspect we're we're kind of hosed there. Yep. The run key does not work. Yeah, no. The proposed solution in this bug is definitely not going to work. All right. And I just lost the mouse cursor. So, keyboard for me. Bug in setting registry root in registry record. Yeah, uh, that looks wrong. Off by one. Unless one is indexed by one and the other indexed by zero. But no, it's I don't know. I don't know the DTF code well enough to do that. All I know is that link is a not completed feature, so right. Yeah, I think uh, even if that, even I, if it works generally in the library, uh, the DTF st or the link stuff is definitely not a hundred percent. Yeah, but that does look like a problem. So that looks like a pretty straightforward fix. Um, Very likely. Yeah. So we could taste it in three X. I suppose, right? I, if that's yeah. the right answer, that's a not breaking change kind of thing. It's a making it work change, so. Right. Wix standard BA. Another one of our display internal UI fans. Uh, questions on that still exists in 3.9. Yes, so I, I think the answer to this is to, to put, to make this a documentation bug and basically say Wix standard BA isn't a good solution for an internal UI, uh, for MSIs that show internal UI. Unless someone wants to go to the work to try to fix all this, but I'm inclined to just go, nah, Wix standard BA doesn't, isn't a good internal UI BA. Yeah, I think we need to do something more than that, if, if that's going to be the, the answer. Um, we could have the Wix standard BA extension scan and look for any display internal UI and then fail. That's not hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess and we've talked about removing engine support in four. Yeah. Um, I, I think. Sorry, we need an answer here in general, and I think part of it is is maybe to say, you know, we should let an extension. Uh, sorry, a custom BA do it because it, it, it's doable. A custom I mean, BA could do it. I just don't want to bother with Wix standard BA doing it. Well, I, I, it's a lot of work. That's yeah. I, I think a lot of people think, oh, it's just letting, you know, MSI do its thing. But it's it's more than that. And um, yeah, I, I'd like to I'd like us to look at in four because I don't think we have an answer in three. In four, I think we should look at, you know, what what can the engine do? Um, you know, maybe the engine can simply pa pass off the decision on UI level. Um, you know, with a, with current defaults, um, and then we can let an extent a custom BA possibly do it if someone wants to do that work, uh, and then we, you know, deprecate display internal UI. Right. So that's all four. I think for three for this bug, we should we could put a make it a doc bug as a simple thing. If you want to go a step farther, have it error if there's any display in terms of UI. Um, I don't know. Could it be a actually do that? Yeah. Oh, the extension could. Yeah. 
not the BID extension. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess I kind of lean that way. Should, maybe it should be a warning. Okay. Instead, you know, we don't want to necessarily yeah, that's true, break, it would break people. You're right. It would break people. Error would break people. So a warning. Yeah. It'd have to be a warning. You're right. It'd have to be a warning. Uh, and the extension could do it. I don't know. If, I don't know who's going to volunteer to write code just simply to point out a warning that it's not going to work too well, but that is a possibility. Yeah, well, doing all the work to show how UI handle all these things, like, yeah. So, yeah. Don't really want to grow with standard BA with more test cases to handle this thing. That doesn't work well in the end anyway. It's like, uh, we're just layering on bad on bad in Wix 3. So I'm kind of like, yeah, let's just have it not do the thing. Right. All right, cool. So I'm going to put that in 3x. Yeah. That recommendation. Yep. For the fix. All right. Unable to install non-advertised comm servers unless the type library is embedded. Right. So the type library has a class ID and the class ID wants to point to the file or the type lib. There's, yeah, if you want to nest them this way, then it doesn't work. I can see it not letting you do that. Yeah, that's, so it brings up the point that the the type lib has is a companion has the companion is a companion to the yeah, that's fine. It just means the unversioned TLB is getting its version from the DLL. And in the end, what's happening here is type live and class are all generating reg keys because they're not advertised. And what they want is they want the type lib keys to be registered with the external TLB, but they want the class column registration, the improc server registration, to be associated with the DLL. Um, I mean, it makes sense what they're trying to do here, and it's just a case that doesn't quite work. Um, I'd say we take it in four and try to rejigger these things, you know, in four X and try to rejigger these things to make it possible. Because otherwise, you have to switch and go to like raw reg keys for these, you know, kind of thing. That's the only way out right now. That works for me. So, take it in four X and see if we can come up with some way of doing an intelligent thing there. I thought by now maybe all the comm stuff would have been worked out. Oh, there's so many different things you can do. I don't know how common it is to have an external TLB from the DLL that implements it either. So, I mean, I think that's possible. those are the kinds of cases we're getting to. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I mean, that's fine. I'm like, yeah, we can try to tackle it for work, come up with a slightly better. The, the comm stuff is fairly complex, and I've always wondered if we could simplify it a little bit more with a bit more knowledge of comm now than when I had before a long, long time ago. Um, at least the registration. I don't know if any knowledge of comm has actually improved. But, yeah. Right now, the, they have to, the workaround is you have to go, I think, probably drop to reg keys for registering the class ID. Or it might be easier to pick the class, make it a child of the file, keep the type of the child of the, uh, make the class element the child of the file DLL, make the class, the file registration, the TLB, have the type lib, and then write the one key, I think, that has to glue them together. So, uh, Wix, I wouldn't recommend, I don't, <laughs> don't consider Wix Proj harvesting a solid thing. I don't know I'd ever recommend it as a workaround. I mean, basically, it's just trying to get the glue key between the type lib and the class key, and so probably the shortest path is to pick the class element, put it underneath the DLL, keep the TLB where it's at, and then write the, I think, one key that connects the two of them together, which is the class GUID to the type lib GUID. I don't remember which way it goes. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah, we could try to come up with a better way around through that in four. Cool. And that's going to go away. All right. So, 3.10.1, I'm hoping this is a short discussion.
tomorrow, I think we're going to launch this. We've got nothing but good feedback thus far on this small update, a few bug fixes. Um, Bob and I have already started the behind-the-scenes machinations to get this thing done. Um, we'll get the news out and all that kind of stuff tomorrow and declare victory on 310 again. <laughs> um, well, second time. It's another excuse for a party. Yeah, right, another excuse for a party. So this will be good. We'll get those fixes out, get our XP support working again. Sad that is isn't, but we'll have to figure out what we want to do about XP long term. But yay, good stuff there. So if you have any issues with 3.10.1, I guess today is the day to make it known, because I don't know that we'll, we'll be heads down trying to push all the buttons tomorrow. So... Does this mean Wix 3XPRs will start getting merged again? Yes. I've been holding off on yeah. messing with the branch, develop branch. Yeah, it's been easier to hold it for a couple of weeks than it is to try to juggle everything around. And we didn't bother creating a Wix 3.10.1 release, and yeah, yeah, because it was only a couple of weeks. Uh, so, yeah. And then I guess we'll take those, you know, bug fixes and we'll be able to roll forward with 3.11. You've already, I think you've already got the change in there, Bob, to do the version number, right? Yeah, um, yeah. All the, the 3, 3.11 versioning and build, build side stuff is already awaiting the uh, opening. Right. So that'll be good. We'll get that all cleared up and then people that want to do stuff in 3.11 can can do that, and we'll eventually talk about a release cycle. But what I really want to talk about is Wix v4 progress. Uh, went through, and last night I went through the backlog of pull requests that were not uh, requiring discussion or otherwise needing a better solution than what was already proposed. Um, and I have a, I started typing something and I got interrupted. Uh, and I'm hoping it will be, my, my plan is to be on top of the PRs better going forward, now that I'm not going to be spending any time on 3x myself. Um, it's all going to be 4 and stuff like that. At least that's my plan. There are 78 bugs open in, in V4. Um, a few of them can be closed because they've been solved. Um, so I, we've, I know we've been focused on 3 and doing that kind of stuff, but there's plenty of work open in 4 to go get tackling. I know um, that Fire Giant, we have a set of big things that we need to go through and finish. A bunch of, I guess, I'd say smaller bugs in bigger areas need to be tackled to get Wix 4 being uh, uh, more fully functional outside of the core tool set. You know, out of sight of stuff that the Wix tool set itself doesn't verify. Like like patching is, needs a lot, some love and transforms is, needs love in there. Related patching, I guess. Things like that. But that's all right. So that's where we're going to go tackle, cleaning up some things, generally getting it into a better space. So, um... My goal is to not fall behind on pull requests. If you have a pull request that's still open, um, hopefully we, you know we've discussed it in the past, like Sean has a big one in there, and that. Um, and so I, I like that we need to talk about that we need to decide which way to go, and a couple other things that I note as attempts to fix a bug that I've known about um, that we need to go fix a slightly different way than was proposed. But um, good start stuff there. Um, so anyway, yes, still focused on front end, back end compiler refactoring for traditional toolkit. Front end, back end compiler refactoring. I'm not sure I understand. Not necessarily a lot of planning to refactor the compiler uh, more. We are cleaning up the layering, the layers in Wix toolset, trying to clean that up so it's it's easier to operate with it. It's about not so traditional Wix is not spitting out non MSI stuff. So no that's no, I don't Yeah, I don't quite understand. Uh the the goal is to clean up the traditional Wix um code and get it going, building out MSIs and things like that. So we're uh, moving forward. I don't quite understand what he's getting at. Front and back and compiler refactoring. I think most of the refactoring in the back end has been done. 
that I'm thinking should be done in four, unless other people want to say, oh, no, it would be great if we did this too. Um, Delta fixing more things for bugs. Like auto cabbing, I think, still needs a little bit. Uh, no, I'm not. For four, for four, the way that we create new ba uh, backs, all that is simplified Wix prototype. That's it. There's no plan for traditional Wix to do that. Um, I don't think I read the email that way, Heath. Um, so we're, we need to go do some work in four. Um, I know Sean was doing some interesting stuff in Burn. I'm excited to see if he is able to finish that. Um, that would be good stuff. Um, and we'll Uh, yeah, we can talk about bug fixes against SWC if you want. All right, well, we should talk about what you're doing there and make sure it aligns with where we're going right now and where we're going to get to. Um, so, yeah, that's the uh, so far. So Wix 4, I, I want to say it's open now that we're basically behind 310. Um, I guess we'll talk about 311 maybe next week, and we'll go from there. So Heath's already started asking other common questions, and we should go talk about those things. Uh, anything else? Uh, I think the big thing is if you see an issue of 3101, today's your last day to kind of yell and hopefully help us find it um, so we don't pull a trigger and then have to do a 3102. That would be unfortunate. Um, and 4.0's going. Got through the backlog of pull requests, most of them, and there's more stuff. Let's keep moving on that. Anything else? Other things? All right. Well, we started 15 minutes late, and we're getting done at you know 12:30. That's not bad. 15-minute meeting. I guess that's about what we expect given triage and things are generally working right. We'll post questions to devs. Get questions. Yeah, that's probably easier. <laughs> I don't think we'll do get great get support here. Um. All right. Well, given that. Uh, tomorrow, release of Wix 3.10.1, get the XP support working again. I think that's the big the big thing in there. And then I'd like to say on with four. On with four. Anything else, Bob? No, that's it. I'm also looking forward to getting back on the 4.0 bad wagon. All right, cool. Well, I think that's where we're at. And uh, until next week, uh, everyone take it easy and... We'll do this again later. Bye. Bye.